A woman has died trying to save her son from drowning on the northern New South Wales coast. A family of five were in the sea off Diggers Beach, Coffs Harbour, yesterday evening when they got into trouble in a strong current. The 49-year-old woman suffered a cardiac arrest after trying to rescue her son from a strong rip. Members of the public went to the family's aid and helped them back to the beach. Efforts to resuscitate the woman failed and she was declared dead at the hospital. Her death is the latest in a series of beach accidents off the Australian coast. The search is continuing for teenager Brunson Rhodes who went missing while swimming at Port Macquarie at the weekend. Emergency services were called about 3.20 p.m. on Saturday when the 14-year-old and two other boys were spotted signalling for help, before the others were brought to the shore. At about 5.30 p.m. Sunday the New South Wales ambulance helicopter had spotted Brunson's body but treacherous conditions made the recovery unsuccessful. These two separate tragedies follow the drowning death of an Indian student at Gleilg in South Australia last week. Ida Shojit, 15, died after being swept out to sea at the Adelaide Beach on Sunday, December 10. Adisha was visiting Australia to compete in football in the Pacific School Games when she and four other teammates decided to relax at Gleilg. Copyright 9 Digital Proprietary Limited 2017